I have one more thing to talk about here. It's about John the Mod and some of the concerns that they had when John became a moderator. This is a post here to prove that it happened. This happened back before John was a mod. So this was early 2018, back one of the old mods. I'm not gonna name names because this person doesn't want to be named. This is what Nick said. Well, ultimately, if you're not up to working things up with John, then it would be a good fit. Then it might not be a good fit, which I completely understand. I know John has a certain style of moderating, but I think it's been working out just fine. There has been very little drama that I've had to deal with, and I'd rather continue on that path than anything else. So if we need to promote him to head mod to make things clear, then we should. And maybe we should just find a team of mini John mobs or something. I know your nightmare of us being manipulated by John is coming true. This person responded by, But Nick, having mods that only centered around one style of moderation isn't healthy. Nick said, but honestly, he and I rarely talk. They said, yeah, but he talks to Justin. Nick responded with, healthy or not, I think it works out. It is better than having internal strife on mod team. The mod responded with, no, the entire point is to have a friendly group of moderators, whom which have their own style of moderating and don't judge another's actions. John's judging, however, and that's the way to go. I hardly believe that. Nick responded with, I think that's a worthy desire. What if we promote him to head mod though? The mod responded with, and by the way, this is an OG mod. This is, I don't think any of you guys know this person. I'd probably be gone then. And if not, and if not that, then maybe crying myself to bed for four months. Nick responded with, oh no. This person responded with, please Nick, it's not the right approach. We need to have John be more soft hearted on how other moderators act. And he needs to look at the community's perspective on it, not as in following the community's order, but rather following how the community reacts after the deeds get done. Nick responded with, I will be honest with you, I'd rather promote John to head mod than do anything else. Keep in mind, this was Nick. Nick never spent any time in the in the Discord. He was purely a developer. It was Justin who was doing most of the um, of the, the moderating stuff. He also knew that Justin was more kind-hearted and more logical, so that's why he made the decision himself rather than approve it by John. This person the moderator responded with, Well that's all my host lost. that's all my hope lost. Nick responded with, I think your ideal of a friendly group of mods with their own style is very worthy, and I wish we could have that, but at the same time the server is too large and too established at this point. I would like to just go with what's been working instead of shaking things up, which by the way, that is completely 100% wrong, um, with the it's too large and too established, because let's talk about one of the servers I'm in, Rocket League, which in case you don't know about Rocket League, it has about 250,000 people in it, and has very chill mods in it and has no issues at all. There's also servers like Nookazon who actually had to petition to um, Discord to get the max server size extended because they actually maxed out how many people they could have in the server. So that's kind of a BS reason and I think, um, I think Nick knew that. But anyway, he continues. I'm sorry if you got the wrong impression of the mod role, but I do think getting along with John, getting along with what John thinks is important. They responded with, it's not, it makes the moderation system way too linear. Nick responded with, I know, but it has to be like that. We're like, what, top 50 populated game servers? I don't know what we are in the game server, in the rankings, but we have a ton of members, almost 70k. We need, to, we need a linear system to moderate efficiently and cut down on drama. Keep in mind, this is before all the drama, which ended up with about 10,000 people banned. And they actually, they had 70,000 people. This was beginning of 2018, or like maybe March or April of 2018, and now they're at 80,000 people, which is 10,000 people more over two years later. That's not good growth. 10,000 people, they, they grew by what was 70,000 to 80,000, like what, 12% or so over, eight, over two years. That's not very good. Then we go here. The community is not responding nicely on that. They're not comfortable with the current moderation standard. <laughs> Nick straight up said, I understand I've heard a bit of that. It's not perfect, but it's adequate, and I have to spend all my time focused on the game rather than on the server, which is 100% true, which is why they shouldn't have messed with the old moderation system, because the old moderation system was working perfectly. We have to be more of a launching point for the server community, letting new members in and becoming familiarized with the game, and then hopefully we can find a more intimate communities on other servers, which actually is pretty crazy, because then he banned people from, let, from advertising own intimate servers on his own server. So, um, that's a little bit of a little kick W, if you ask me. So I think moderation has to be a little sterile in some respects, I guess. And this person, which is actually very smart, says nothing's too large for a new team of moderators, so I still don't get it. I think what sums this up the best is this moderator said, the current system is less reliable. Mods following a head mod is just slaves waving fans to a single superior. I think that wraps it up with 
John in general. I wish Libby had a lot of power in the server, but I think John has more power than she does. She might not even be aware of it. I'm fairly confident John is manipulating her into thinking stuff about the competitive scene. Anything that goes wrong, John probably blames it on the competitive scene. It wouldn't surprise me he's done it before. It's a shame that we've let a single person become so powerful that's not even an employee of Congregate that they can completely ruin a competitive scene. That to me is disturbing, but it's just a part of Survive. Anyway, that's going to be a Survive alert for today. I appreciate you guys being here. I'll see you guys next week, hopefully with Firewave back again. See you guys then.